Hello my friends, DaVinci Resolve 18.1 has been released and there's a new voice isolation feature. So how well does it work? Well, I'm actually using it right now. And uh, <laughs> this is how it sounds and I'm going to show you where to go, how to activate it. So without further ado, let us indulge my friends. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. Welcome and welcome. So where do we go to get the voice isolation? We're about to run through that right now. But before that, we need a clip to work with. Uh, this is what the audio sounds like. This is what we're going to be working with. Be close to the microphone. So how does it sound? Sound okay? Does it work? Does it not work? Who knows? About to test it now. So um, yeah. Okay, my friend. So where do we go to activate voice isolation? What you need to do is navigate to the top right corner here. Click on inspector. Make sure inspector is enabled. Then click on to audio tab. And the third option down, you will see voice isolation. All you need to do is turn it on. And just like that, bang, voice isolation is turned on. Now, the only option we have to work with here is actually a slider and it dials down the intensity from zero to 100, 100 being the absolute maximum strength of this. Now, there's one thing to note. I was actually trying this earlier and I got this error. Yes, you can actually only use this effect on clips longer than three seconds, which is absolutely, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not really happy about it, but use of that information, what you will. But how does this actually sound? So we're going to go back to the clip without voice isolation. Does it work? Does it not work? Who knows? About to test it now. So, um, yeah. And the clip with voice isolation turned on. Okay, does it work? Does it not work? Who knows? About to test it now. So, um, yeah. Not bad. How does it sound? Sound okay? Does it work? Does it not work? Who knows? About to test it now. So, um, yeah. Close to the microphone. So, how does it sound? Sound okay? Does it work? Does it not work? Who knows? About to test it now. So, um, yeah. It works pretty well. It gives you quite clean audio. The only thing that I'm noticing is the audio does seem to dip down quite a little bit in parts where my voice is a bit lower. Sound, sound okay, does it work, does it not work, who knows, about to test it now, so um, yeah. To combat this, I believe we can go to the voice isolation, again, inspector, make sure inspector's open. Just gonna dial down the amount to about, about 55 to 60, see how this sounds. Close to the microphone, so how does it sound? Sound okay, does it work, does it not work, who knows, about to test it now, so um, yeah. Not too bad. Again, to compensate for this, we could use the dialogue leveler. I'm gonna have a video dedicated to this just so it raises and normalizes my voice a little bit more. Okay, so how does it sound? Sound okay? Does it work? Does it not work? Who knows? About to test it now. So um, yeah. So yeah, this is how it sounds. So what are my thoughts? I think voice isolation, I think it's actually pretty good. It's quick, it's easy. You can do this whilst in the edit tab. You go to inspector, audio, turn it on, dial it in, forget about it, continue editing. I think that's really useful. However, it's not as good as say going to the Fairlight audio page, um, opening up say dynamics, enabling like a noise gate, a compressor, or even going down to effects, going down to restoration, using like a DSR, a DHUM, or even noise reduction and dialing in a bit of the settings. But I think that's absolutely fine. I think this was created for those who didn't necessarily want to get into the technical aspects or waste time in different audio tabs. So, um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Hopefully you think it's good too. If you like this video, please share, subscribe, comment, like, want me to make more tutorials, so let me know in the comments below and I shall see you on the next one.